Hello gamers, this is Noobzilla. Time for some more tips and tricks for Elder Scrolls Online. I'm grabbing these from tso.mmorpg-life.com and I'll put a link down in the description box below. I'm going to be breaking this up into a couple different videos, so let's go ahead and get started. Tips and Tricks Guide contains a comprehensive list of things that you should know before you start playing the Elder Scrolls Online. These are the general tips. Search for chests in the tutorial area. There are a lot of unlocked chests where you can get lockpicks, money and gear, barrels and crates and urns all instanced individually and you can find recipes and crafting ingredients. If you get stuck on an NPC screen typing slash reload UI or pressing the apostrophe or pressing the mailbox symbol on chat will clear the screen and get you out of the stuck animation. Keep as many lockpicks as you can afford. You can collect them from chest drawers, boxes, or wardrobes scattered all over the world, or buy them from some NPCs. And there's a lockpicking guide, and that can help a lot. You can travel from anywhere on the map by pressing M to a way shrine you've visited before, by clicking the way shrine icon on your map and paying a small fee in gold. You can travel between way shrines with no fee if you approach a way shrine and interact with it. Your character starts the game with 60 inventory slots. You can upgrade your inventory up to 110 slots. All characters on the same account share the same bank storage. From level 15, you can swap your weapons at any time using the keyboard command. Holding Q opens eight quick slots inventory. In order to use the item from the quick slot, select it and press Q. And then there's a list of all the keyboard commands. Kills and loot stealing are not possible in Elder Scrolls Online. Loot is phased per player. Feel free to help anyone take down a mob and you'll get loot as well. And don't forget to collect all the sky shards on the map since every three scars grant you a skill point. And then there's a map here with all the different sky shard locations. There isn't an auction house or Elder Scrolls in Elder Scrolls Online. You can sell your items to vendors offering your goods in the open chat or join a guild and use the guild shops. Mundus stones will give you permanent buffs that are only removed by selecting another Mundus stone. You can respec your skill points for a high gold cost. You don't have to re-level your skills after you reset them. Respecking doesn't cause you to lose any skill progress. You can reassign your health, magicka, and stamina points at a relatively significant cost of gold. Next we have advanced steps. You can be a werewolf, vampire, and be in the fighters guild at the same time. You can't do dungeons with other races that are not in your alliance. Shadow Doors library is open as soon as you join the mages guild. Books found within the library contribute XP to the mage guild rank. Edetic memory is unlocked later and lets you see every little note or book you have ever collected in the game. Mix and match your armor and you'll boost your available stats from the start. You'll find the light armor boost magicka, medium armor, stamina, and heavy armor, HP, or armor. ESO's in-game progression is tied to an alternate advancement system called Veteran Ranks. Upon hitting level 50, the player will be granted Veteran Rank 1. Each VR has a new tier of gear associated with it. VR 10 is currently the cap on Veteran Ranks. Healing spells that target allies are also self-target skills. While playing through the other alliances quest, all content is scaled to level 50. Bosses in public dungeons can drop great loot and respawn quickly. Most of locked chests can be found on the coastline. Check drawers and houses constantly. You'll find the racial material needed to craft armor and weapons. Chest loot from dungeons is not personal loot, thus beware of ninja looters. Chest loot can be better than dungeon boss loot. Wow. Mount tips. After you get your first horse, be sure to talk to the stable master again. Once a day, you can feed your horse and it'll increase speed, stamina, or carry weight depending on what you choose to feed him with. The cheapest horse you can buy at a major city is approximately 17,500 gold. Each horse has a level cap of 50, which would make it impossible to max all three attributes. Each time you feed your mount, which has a 20 hour cooldown, you'll gain one inventory slot if you maximize carry weight. Don't buy the slowest white horse, save up for one of the faster horses and skip the slowest ones. 
leveling tips. The best way to level up is by doing quests since they award the most XP. Finding and exploring areas are the second way for gaining huge chunks of XP. The XP gain goes something like this, questing and then exploration and then grinding. Explore each part of the map and you will find many hidden quests. Alright, that's going to go ahead and wrap up this episode of ESO Tips and Tricks. And if you want to see the other ones, make sure you check those out as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.